Welcome back to my studio. And today's video is about studios. And it's about when should you get a studio space? Because I've been getting a lot of questions about this. A lot of you out there are getting to the stage where you're starting to think, I think I need a space. I think I need a studio. Um, and the answer to this will be different for everyone, but let me try and give you some information, some advice that can helpfully, helpfully, hopefully, hopefully help you make an informed decision. Now, the first thing, the big thing about having a studio is it costs money. You kind of want to have at least six months of that rent set aside plus your wages before you commit to it because what you don't want to end up doing is taking on a space and that being the thing which tips you over the edge into bankruptcy. You know, you can work without one, especially if you're in a major city. Photographers in London don't all own studios because they just rent them. There are studios out there which are literally just rental studios. No photographer owns them. Some cool creatives have it. They set up a beautiful space for us to work in and we go and rent it from them. It works well. Now, another thing to consider is your home situation. So in my house, there is nowhere for me to work. Um, and there's nowhere quiet for me to work. We have three kids running riot. And with that comes three kids playing on online devices. My partner has an online business which runs from home um, because that's the only place it can run from. That takes up a lot of bandwidth. So between the, the, the poor internet availability and the lack of space and silence, I can't really work from home. Unless everyone's out for the weekend and I happen to be home by myself, then I will work from home at the kitchen table often. But it's not conducive for me. And I also need somewhere where I can create. And for me personally, having my own space, which is set out how I like it to be and is, listen how quiet it is. Pretty quiet, Moggy? Moggy thinks it's pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet here. I can fall asleep in the middle of the day and no one bothers me, which is nice. Um, but that's important to me. And also, you see all this, this crap I have behind me? I can't keep that at home. And I don't live in a major city, so I also can't rent it. I have to go to London when I rent a studio and that, if I want to do a test shoot, that is financially not viable. Which is another thing to think about. If you find you're renting a studio more than once a week, it is probably financially viable for you to take on your own space. If you're only using it once a month, it probably isn't financially viable to take on your own space. And I think a big thing to think about is like, for me personally, having this space to work in is so important to me. Having my own space exactly how I want it with all my stuff left out where I need it to be. This is all set up back here so I can just start shooting whenever. That's very important and I can afford it. So even if I don't necessarily need it, because I mostly shoot in London for big shoots, it's nice to have and I can afford that. And if you can afford it and you do want it and you do feel it'll be conducive towards you creating more personal work, better portfolio work, then yeah, by all means, go for it. And I think the, the biggest sort of factor to whether you should get a studio yet or not is how much money you have. Can you afford it? Can you afford to pay for it for the next year if it makes you no money? If the answer to that is yes, and you feel that having that studio space will make you happy and therefore more productive and you know be able to create more work, then I think that is absolutely something you should look into doing. Now, in terms of who shouldn't be getting a studio, if you currently think that having a studio and all the costs involved with it might be a stretch, don't do it. I did do that, it was horrific. Every single month, I didn't have the, the financial backing, the savings. I was stressed about, will I be able to pay rent this month? Will I be able to make enough money? I'm gonna to have to take on this horrible job doing event photography. I'm gonna to have to go and shoot a wedding to make rent. I would not advise that. That was not conducive to my creativity. Although I had the space and everything else, I was so stressed trying to pay for it that my creativity dipped. So money is a huge factor in this, probably more so than anything else. If there is a studio space that you can rent at a reasonable rate without having to take on the responsibility of having like a 12 month lease or a three year lease, then maybe that's a better way to start off. Dip your toe into it like that, have a practice, have a play, and work out whether that is a conducive environment for you to work in. I know photographers who don't have a studio. I know photographers who shoot from home professionally for major campaigns. They have their house set up so that they can just shoot huge campaigns. And there, look at David Loftus. He shoots from his house. Uh, there is somebody else who I follow on Instagram. He shoots from his house uh, in London in a small kitchen. So it's not a big space. And they make it work for them. Because for them, why have that extra outlay? And also, they like being in their house and their home environment. For me, I like to separate the two things because I'm a workaholic. If I worked from home, I would never, ever stop. Anyway, I hope that helps you. Let me know if you're thinking about getting a studio. If you've recently got a studio, I'd love to see your space. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.